Welcome to LDSBookReviews.com. I'm Ryan Daly again, and today we're going to rock an easy one. Lectures on Faith. Lectures on Faith are reportedly considered to be by Joseph Smith. They were actually lectures that were given in the School of the Prophets in Kirtland in 1834 and 1835. And they more or less were compiled by the members of the School of the Prophets. Now, they're attributed to Joseph, and indeed he had quite a bit of involvement. There's always some debate among the scholars as to you know, whether he would be considered the actual author or not. But there is no question that he was a proponent, uh, as well as an someone who advocated for the principles in Lectures on Faith and spoke about them and taught them during the School of the Prophets. So Lectures on Faith was actually the lectures themselves, so there's a number of lectures in this. The lectures themselves that were given seem to be to some extent a amazing experiment that Joseph had. Um, he was someone when the church was being organized, he was unique in a religious movement in that he immediately tried to get power out rather than conserving power as the head of the organization or as the founder or as the leader. But he immediately began to execute things like giving priesthood authority, giving authority to high councils, things like that. And so the unique element about lectures on faith and somewhat of the council process that these were developed by in the School of the Prophets with him overseeing the pro process is that it was somewhat of an exercise in showing that the general membership of the church can develop concepts and lectures and sermons that could be considered doctrinal and paramount. In fact, one of the unique elements of Lectures on Faith, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a five-star rating right now uh, for the purpose of this, is to understand that these lectures were considered to be as close to doctrine as possible without being considered revelation. So for the very first printing of the Doctrine and Covenants in 1835 all the way till the early 1900s, every time the Doctrine and Covenants were printed, the Lectures on Faith were included. Not only that, they were included before Section 1 was included. They were included as the preface um, to the preface. They were included as lectures that were considered part of doctrine as well as covenants. Now, the only reason that I understand that they were excluded from future editions of the Doctrine and Covenants was because they weren't considered to be revelation. Uh, revelation from the Lord and they weren't considered to be the Word of God. They were lectures on the development of faith, uh, principles of godliness, and things of that nature. So to some extent, it's disappointing that the general membership of the church has lost touch with these lectures um, and these principles, but they are pretty much public discord. They are public domain, so they've been printed a million times by a million different people. This particular copy was printed by Covenant Communications and distributed through Siegel Book for, I believe, like $6. I believe you can go on Amazon and buy a copy probably for 5 You might even be able to get a free uh, Kindle edition. Uh, there are so many copies out there. I highly recommend that every member of the church take an opportunity and read the lectures on faith. Again, they are what I would consider to be a phenomenal appendix to the Doctrine and Covenants and giving an idea of the direction of the doctrinal development of the church at the very beginning. And you'll find that there's nothing sketchy. There's just pure uh, doctrine and application that can be found in the Lectures on Faith. So again, the Lectures on Faith are something highly recommended. I give it five stars. I recommend anyone who wants to find it at a DI, they'll probably find a couple of copies in a couple of different formats. You don't even have to go to DI, find it on Amazon for cheap, eBay for cheap. You could probably go buy it retail from Desert Book or Siegel and find a copy for five or six dollars. Um, again, highly recommended. I would jump on this and if you don't already have a copy, get one. You'll notice that they are small, they are short, uh, and they are rich. Everyone I know that has jumped in finds themselves reading and rereading the lectures on faith because of how much they enjoy it. So with that, 
I'm going to leave you with that, and I recommend Lectures on Faith, five stars. Go ahead and get a copy, read it, review it. I promise you'll love it. And if you would like a more detailed review of this content, feel free to jump on to LDSBookReviews.com, where a complete write-up is available, as well as other write-ups on other reviews. Uh, feel free to follow that blog that is on that website, as well as this YouTube channel. Thank you.